Hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'd like to show you how I connect many hard drives to my motherboard. As you probably already know, I am currently plotting and mining Chia. And one of the things that you probably need in uh, when you're doing that is to connect many, many hard drives, pretty much as much as possible so that you can store as many plots as possible. And Chia mining takes a lot of space from your hard drives. So I currently have a case where I have eight hard drives connected each one of them is either a six terabyte or an eight terabyte hard drive and i'm going to add two more but the issue that i was having and you might have the same problem is that your motherboard typically most consumer grade motherboards can take up to uh, four sata uh, ports and if you're using two nvmes for plotting at least one or two of them is are going to be uh, disabled so what you need in this case is this thing it's a PCIe to uh, SATA card. That's exactly what it, what it does. And it allows you to basically slot it in into one of the PCIe slots, either your X16 or your X4. So a single slot or the, the full size slot. And on the other end, get SATA uh, ports. In this case, I have a six slot one, um, but you could find ones for two, four, six, eight, 12 and 16, I think. Right now, the problem is that they, these guys are almost completely out of stock everywhere. And if you ever, you know, find them, they're extremely expensive. At the end of the video, I will show you where I got this from, how much I bought it for. And uh, because it's already out of stock, uh, maybe look at some alternatives on, you know, what other items you might buy that kind of do the same thing. But if you were to look it up, make sure you look up PCIe to SATA, I've made the mistake where I actually accidentally bought a PCI to SATA and that doesn't fit on my motherboard. And you'd probably want to look for uh, something that says, uh, you know, six gigabits per second kind of speed. Uh, that should be sufficient. Um, what else? These things are usually made in China. Uh, the reviews on them are typically not great most of the time, but most of them kind of do what they're supposed to do, which allow you, you know, which is allowing you to connect several uh, hard drives to your motherboard. So I'm gonna go uh, right now to my uh, plotter slash farmer, and I'll show you how I connected it. It's a very straightforward process. And when we come back to my computer over here, I'm gonna remote into my Chia plotter farmer and show you my current setup and how much capacity I currently have and how much any plots I've reached and we'll go into Amazon and see uh, you know some potential alternatives to this card in case you know it's completely out of stock and as always I'll put the links down in the description so that you can uh, buy them as well for you for yourself if you'd like to all right see you in a bit all right folks so here's my current setup uh, this is my Chia plotter slash former I've got eight drives over here and in my 5.25 inch to uh, 3.5 uh, slots I've got one right now and I'm gonna add another one here uh, later on uh, but so far I've got um, eight drives some of them are six terabytes and some are eight I think roughly I've got probably about 50 or 60 terabytes over here uh, I've already uh, wired the hard drives as you can see I've got six over here these cables came uh, with the card itself. So you gotta make sure that whenever you buy it, you know, either see if the, the cables are gonna come with it or buy your, buy your own. These are just kind of uh, standard uh, uh, SATA cables. Uh, so what we're looking for is we're gonna connect it to the full slot right here because this one is not a single slot PCIe. Um, it's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is, you know, slot this in and you can use a screw over here to so that it doesn't kind of uh, wobble around. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand and uh, it's pretty straightforward. All we gotta do is, you know, put these in, make sure that they go in properly. The order doesn't really matter. Um, your motherboard's gonna recognize them no matter what. You might have to, if this is the first time you do this, you might have to go into your disk manager and uh, either uh, enable them, assign them, uh, drive letter uh, or format them, uh, whatever you need to do to kind of like make the motherboard uh, recognize it. Okay, I've got all of them plugged in. I turned on the, the PC. We're gonna go back to my uh, Chia Miner. I'm gonna remote into this PC and we're gonna see if all of the drives got recognized. I'm supposed to be able to see eight of them hopefully i've got six connected over here and then two connected 
uh, on the motherboard itself and I've got my uh, SSD which has the Windows installed on it. All right. Okay, I'm back on my PC right now. I've remote into the plotter slash farmer, the main one. And as you can probably see, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hard drives. And that's because we use, um, uh, we use the PCIe to uh, SATA card that we spoke about. Okay, so before I finish off this video, I wanna do two things. I'm gonna go to the device manager and we're gonna um, check out uh, basically where it is. This is standard SATA AH. CI controller. This is pretty much the PCIe to SATA card. And finally, before I finish this video, I wanted to uh, show you pretty much what I bought online. Um, this is the item that I originally bought. It's from a company called Zio or something like that it's uh, made in china it came with it has six ports six data ports and it came with six cables it is out of stock i can't find it anywhere but if i were to go to amazon and look for something i'd you know search pcie to sata and uh, see what we can find uh, over here in canada i'm looking at um i could potentially get this one uh, this one has four and it ha it's a single slot. So the advantage of this one is that you don't have to use one of your full slots. You can use a small, uh, small slot. And what I'm actually thinking of doing, uh, this one is 75 bucks, which is expensive. Plus I gotta pay $10 for import fees. What I'm thinking of doing is um, getting this guy. Uh, pretty much, as you can see over here, PCIe to SATA 6G expansion card. This one is dual slot, two of them, uh, into a single PCIe, and it's for 30 bucks. I might have to pay a little bit of import fees. It's probably coming from uh, the US or somewhere. Uh, but I'm thinking of getting two of these for 60 bucks. I get four slots, and then I'm able to add four additional hard drives to my uh, to my Chia plotter slash miner. All right, to sum it up, uh, pretty much what we did uh, right here is looked at a PCIe to SATA card that allows you to add a lot more hard drives to your motherboard. Uh, this is uh, quite useful, especially if you're into Chia mining slash farming. I personally have managed to add two hard drives to my motherboard and an additional eight, and I'm gonna get two more of these so that I can add four more hard drives and that's the total capacity of my case. If you have a case that can take less or more, then make sure you kind of like look into what you need uh, in terms of this card specifically. Finally, as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you have any questions for me, please put it down in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.